This is the Health Rebels podcast hosted by me, Steve Hicks. I have over a decade of experience as a personal trainer. And during that time, I have watched the smartest fitness advice fail people because we keep thinking that health and fitness is an individual's problem. The reality is there are forces all around us that are constantly pushing us to a default of being unhealthy and unhappy. To become truly healthy and happy, we have to rebel against those forces. So if you're ready to steal back control over your health and happiness, join me as we strip away the nonsense and show you the simple, healthy habits that will transform you into a health rebel. Let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back, Rebel. Today, we are wrapping up the final, the final component of the holistic wheel. It is support and accountability. It is absolutely an important thing to consider. Most people just kind of get started and they don't think about their support and their accountability or their support networks and their accountability methods. And they just kind of run and they run and then they slowly fall off and they, six months later, they wonder, hey, when did I stop working out? Right, it just kind of falls under the wayside because they didn't take the moment to take care of support and accountability. And today what I wanna do, there's a lot that we can talk about, uh, but I wanna give you the most actionable step, the most impactful step, and, and try to put this into a pretty package with a nice, nice, beautiful bow on top. So support and accountability, why it's so important. Support and accountability is absolutely important because throughout all of human history, not a single person has ever done anything meaningful by themselves. There is a myth about the self-made man, the self-made millionaire, right? We, we perpetuate this person that pulled themselves up by the bootstraps, but it's not true. There is not a single person throughout all of human history that has ever done anything all by themselves. They've either had a mentor or a teacher or a role model or someone hiding in the, in the shadows supporting them. They've either had a coach. They've either had a teacher. They've either had a loved one or a family member or somebody that knew what they were working on and, and patting them on the back and giving them support or giving them a shoulder to cry on when they needed or an ear to bend when they needed someone to talk to. Nobody has ever done anything meaningful by themselves. Nobody has ever succeeded by themselves. Everybody needs something. Even if it's an imaginary figure and an imaginary role model or a historical role model or something, everybody needs somebody. Every, I'm not gonna sing on this podcast. Anyway, uh, everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs some support. Everybody needs some accountability. And I think accountability is misconfused. I think it's misunderstood and I think it's often misrepresented. As a personal trainer for over a decade, I think the most common thing people have come to me for has been accountability. They said, I just need someone to be accountable to, someone to hold my feet over the fire. And although that is true, that is a form of accountability, People think that's the only form of accountability. That's the only source of accountability that only by having somebody else out there can we have accountability. But that's not true. There are other forms of accountability. Having a personal trainer, having a coach, hiring me to keep you accountable, to give you support, to check in on you, that is a great source of accountability but that's what I call external accountability. It's, ex it's accountability from something outside yourself. I think the most impactful, and it's not, the, it's not easy to do, but the most impactful form of accountability will ultimately be internal accountability. Accountability really is, and healthy habits as a whole, really is all about integrity. Healthy habits are making promises. Now, often they're promises we make to ourselves, but they are making promises. Every workout that you say you're gonna do is a promise you put out there. Every time you do meal planning, every time you do meal prep, that's a promise to eat well. And every time you 
skip a workout, that's breaking a promise you made. Every time you eat something you didn't plan to, that's breaking a promise you made. Every time you order out instead of making the food that you plan to make, that's breaking a promise. That is a low integrity move. And look, I hate, to, I hate to give you a gut check, but if you are breaking promises to yourself, you lack integrity. You don't lack any accountability. Now that is, that is a hard pill to swallow. I am so sorry to give that to you, but it's kind of true, isn't it? And so there are two forms of accountability. There's external and there's internal. There's promises you make to yourself and when you keep those, that's, that's practicing accountability. That's practicing integrity. And the most impactful thing that I've found with my clients to do is to practice that integrity on a daily basis. And what, what I do with clients, the way we do this is by making a power promise. A power promise is something that you promise yourself you're going to do. And you're going to do it every day. Every doggone day, no matter what the circumstance is. You made a promise. And by golly, you're going to see it through. Now, a power promise should be something that is just so stupid easy, it is impossible not to do. One of my favorite examples of a power promise is from Simon Sinek. He says he does a push-up a day. A push-up every single day. That is a stupid goal. Any, if you went to a fitness trainer and you said, how do I get in shape? And he said, do one push-up a day, you'd probably fire that guy. But the reality is a push up a day is something that's super easy to do. Now I'm not saying you have to do it, but if we look at it, it takes one second. It could be 11.45 at night, you're lying in bed and you can go, oh, oh I didn't do a push up. You take one second, do a push up, you're done for the day. Boom, nailed it, you kept that promise. You had a high integrity day. Good job, high five you, you're awesome. Now that's stupid easy. And let's be honest, if you do one push up, you're probably not going to stop at one since you're already going through the effort to be on the ground doing push ups. You'll probably do five, you'll probably do 10. And then now that you got started, you're, you might not just do one set, you might do two, you might do more, but you don't need to. All you need to do is one. It's so stupid easy, you, you're, you're going you're gonna to do it no matter what. Now that's one example. Another power promise could be something that is, look, I'm gonna drink a glass of water every morning when I wake up. Boom, that doesn't take any effort. That doesn't take much. You just have to remember to do it. And you can do that every single day. You can do that every single day. Low effort, low motivation. You don't have to get worked up to do it. And you get to practice keeping a promise to yourself every single day. Another one that I love, if you are trying to read before bed to try to work on that sleep, to unwind like we talked about a couple episodes ago, then just read one paragraph. If I can read one paragraph a night, I can develop a reading habit. One paragraph doesn't take a lot of motivation. Sometimes it takes motivation to read a chapter. I know. Sometimes cracking open a book and looking at the 270 pages Oh, I don't have the energy for that tonight. But a paragraph? Paragraph takes like 30 seconds. You don't even have to commit to the book. Just one paragraph, 30 seconds. You can make that happen, right? Power promises should be so stupid easy that you can do them every single day. You don't need to be motivated to do them. And another key element of power promises is they should be personally relevant to you. Now, I talked about if your goal is to read more, your power promise can be one paragraph a day. If you're, if you're really bad with hydration, if you're constantly forgetting to drink water, then having that power promise to drink a glass of water in the morning can be really important to you. If you want to work on the muscles of your chest, if you want to try to get bigger arms, having one push-up a day could be a good promise for you, right? I don't know what your goal is, unless you're a client and you've told me, I don't know what your goal is. And so I can't tell you what your power promise should be. But what I can tell you is that you should have a power promise, something every day where you practice integrity to yourself so that you have accountability, something that you stay true to, something that you 
intentionally serve yourself and do yourself good. Something that takes no effort, takes no motivation, and that you do every single day. And that's it. Remember, nobody can do this alone. Nobody throughout human history has ever done anything meaningful by themselves. Everybody needs somebody. But just because you need somebody doesn't mean that's the only form of accountability. There's internal and external accountability and the greatest source of internal accountability is a daily practice of integrity to yourself, is a daily practice, is a daily power promise that you keep every single day. So implement the power promise if you have not yet. And I'm curious, what is your power promise? In the outro, I'm gonna talk to you about the Facebook community. Come hang out with me. Tell me what your power promise is. I wanna know. Or you can email me directly, steven at healthrebels.us and tell me what your power promise is. I want to know but just put one in action. Make it so stupid easy that you can do it every day without motivation, without gusto, without effort. And you can just keep that promise to yourself every single day. And speaking of days, one of my power promises is to put out a good podcast every single day so that you can steal back control over your health and happiness. So make sure you come back tomorrow. We are gonna talk in depth about the model of success, survive versus thrive. Come on back and we will talk to you tomorrow. And until then, you know what to do, Rebel. Keep the oath. Hey, thanks for listening to that episode of the Health Rebels podcast. Before you run off, I want to let you know about a free resource available for you. I do have a free Facebook community where I do daily live chats with other Health Rebels provide more information, host group challenges, provide support, and just generally try to put more positivity on your newsfeed instead of the typically toxic political hate that we get surrounded by already. If you're not already in the Health Rebels Training Camp Facebook group, I'll tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. When you join the Facebook group, I'll send you a free digital copy of my Health Rebels Pocketbook Guide. This little book highlights some of the hidden forces that have conspired against our health and happiness and gives you two powerful tools to fight back. You can join the Health Rebels Training Camp group by visiting www.facebook.com slash groups slash health rebels. That's an S after both groups and health rebels. Or by checking out the show notes, you can also search on Facebook for Health Rebels Training Camp. I hope to see you inside.